Hello everybody and welcome! My name is Ursa Ryan and today I come to you with a question. Could you win a domination victory on Deity Difficulty on Civ 6 if your entire war strategy was randomised? That's right, today we are going to be playing with absolute chaos. The entire war strategy of Persia will be dictated by one spinny wheel. I think it's probably better if I just show you what I mean. I am playing on a small Pangaea map with a balanced start, but I have packed in 8 players, so 2 more than usual. I will be adventuring around the map and biding my time doing my thing, just being Cyrus and whatever he does. F falling Babylon. Yes, falling on Babylon every day. The only problem is that my war advisor is a little bit chaotic, to say the least. Every 10 turns, he's going to tell me to randomly declare war on somebody. So on turn 10, and then 20, and then 30, and then 40, I will spin a wheel with every sieve that I have met, and we will pick one at random and declare a surprise war. I don't get to pick who that is, I don't get to pick when we attack them, but we just will be attacking someone new every 10 turns. The only other rules to consider are that if I can make peace after 10 turns, I must as quickly as possible, and I can't pick the same sieve twice. Other than that, yeah, this game is going to be chaotic. Remember, if you want to play along with me, come to Discord because I keep all the save files and all the mods that I use there. If you ever want to know what is causing this brilliant plus two on the commercial hub pin, it's a mod. It's on Discord. What's this beautiful quick deal thing? It's a mod. It's on Discord. Who made this wonderful challenge for Persia on the A to Z series? It's a mod. It's on... Actually, no, it's not a mod. That's the Coffee and Patreon subscribers. Plug, 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 plug. Remember, if you want to suggest a series for this A to Z challenge, then that's the place to go. Subscribe on Coffee and Patreon and help create, plot, plan, do whatever you wish. I will end up playing whatever crazy games you come up with, including this one. Let us, however, begin, because this start is interesting, because I can see a Plains Hill. Now, if you settle on one of these, your capital gets itself an extra production. It gets two food, two production, rather than two food, one production. So that already is good, and there are two two tiles either side of it. So already I'm thinking, yum. It looks like we've moved away from some desert and towards a geothermal fissure and cotton. We're still within range of ivory. That's not a bad little start for me. I don't mind that at all. This is where we make our home. And as we make our capital on top of the hill, we should talk a little bit about Persia because fans of the channel will know I'm not a massive fan of Persia. I don't entirely think they're very good. However, we do have a new Persian leader, which is why I'm not playing them. No, that's right, we've already played a game with them. Cyrus, the original Persian leader, is here today with the fall of Babylon. Now, Persia and the fall of Babylon really split the community quite heavily. A lot of people have them as really, really good, well-rounded war sieves, and other people have them down as a little bit lacking in most areas. I like to think that when Persia was initially released, they were really, really good, and that subsequent releases have kind of watered them down because some of the newer releases have been, well, not entirely balanced. However, it was the two extra movement for the first 10 turns after declaring a surprise war on a major civilization that is what inspired the chaotic 10 turn timer. We have an extra 5 loyalty if we occupy cities with a garrisoned unit, very good, and if we declare surprise wars, we count as former wars for purposes of grievances and warmongering. That is also quite handy, considering the chaos that we're going to get up to today. Satrapies gives me gold and culture for internal trade routes, that's good, because I'm going to not be able to trade with many people, let me tell you. Immortals are like swordsmen, but the ranged attack and are thoroughly meh. <laughs> Again, people love them. I've I've never had, a, to this day, a good game with Immortals. Perhaps today is the one. You never know. And the Paradesa? I'm not entirely sure how you'd say that. I'm very sorry, but it's the unique improvement for Persia to give me gold and culture that gets me a government nice and quickly and helps to bankroll my army and is otherwise a little bit meh, but it's okay. Now, my strategy I'm a little bit torn on. I could do the usual exploration. However, if I meet someone by turn 10, I'm going to be declaring war on them. So do I want to kind of wait until I meet people and give myself as much of a head start as possible? I don't know. One thing I do know is that we are going to need an army because if we don't have an army, then oh boy, we are going to get overrun very quickly. I also want to know if I've got iron. Where is my iron and can I pick it up? Because immortals take 10 iron. It is the most annoying part of them. It is a balanced start. In theory, I should have iron somewhere around me, but where? Nobody's sure. There's Granada and I'm first to meet them. Huzzah! That's really good. That's an extra production towards my slinger. What's in the goodie heart? It is a kill. 
Okay, it was literally inside a hut. How they got that in there? I don't know. No, no, I mean, interestingly, it's right next to a volcano, so which is the cooler random natural pit? I would say probably a kill still. It's a really good one, actually. This gives me 50% production when producing wonders and districts on adjacent tiles. That wonder thing is really helpful if you do have a good wonder. And it looks like I've got a relic in the tribal hut. Okay. Tell you what I'm going to do. This always happens on a relic start. I'm going to also put this save file up on to Discord. So if you want to have a turn five relic start, you're welcome. Don't say I never do anything for you, huh? That's really good. That's basically a pantheon guarantee. And as a barbarian scout. Hello, sir. That is a tribal hut and there is the encampment. Okay, it looks like we're going to be fairly busy. Here is my slinger. I'm going to just, yeah, yoink my slingers over and we're going to deal with these barbarians as soon as we can. I'm going to approach hopefully from not over the marsh if I can help it because that will put me very, very vulnerable. There's a wheel in that tribal village, okay? That's not too exciting, but that's fine. I'm going to get attacked, aren't I? As soon as I cross the river, is it going to attack me? No. No, it didn't. Also, turn 10 went and it's gone. I haven't met anybody, no wars just yet, but that's how quickly the turns are going to go. This is going to be chaotic. Preslav. Oh, I'm the first to meet Preslav as well. Okay, encampments are going to be the order of the day. So bronze working is absolutely going to be what I'm going to go after today. Oh, you're just going to step outside? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Military tradition done. Um, My slinger, I don't even need to hang around here. I'm going to go across the river and you can attack me from there, friend. There's another slinger. As I say, I could get another settler out really quickly, but I don't know whether or not I just need army, 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 army. This... <laughs> Could be the absolute thing for me to go and do. I could go and settle on the truffles. That would give me a little bit more happiness. Yeah, I'm going to need a few cities. I can just tell already that this is going to be an aggressive little start. Actually, this is really good. We can get that kill. And we have a choice. Religious settlements. I can get an extra settler. That'll put me on three cities really quickly. Or I can go for reeds and marshes. That'll make this area to settle very good very quickly. There is quite a bit of marsh around. God of the Four will help me to pump units out really quickly. That could be quite handy. But it only works on ancient and classical military units. Religious settlements gives you the settler and it just gets you out so much quicker and I so rarely get it. I have to celebrate the relic start with one of those. So yeah, that'll do for me. So this will count as a settlement on another continent thinking about it. That's quite handy. And I would quite like a city over near the Akil, which I think is going to be like that. So that would be a fairly cool city to have as well. In fact, thinking of it in future, that would give me a beautiful little aqueduct uh, connection that I could put some industrial zones down next to. So that's really cool. Maybe we'll do that. Oh, there's another barb camp. Oh dear. Okay, we're gonna have to go and deal with that quickly. Uh-oh. Mendelik has found me. Ah, right. This means that in uh, a few turns, we will be going to war. Honor to meet you. I don't think... Oh, do I want to know where his capital is? Probably. Yeah. Okay, it's over there. Fine. All right. Well, we have three turns before the inevitable war declaration. That's uh, not as long as I would have hoped for, but, but never mind. Let's get this settler out and we are going to have to get a lot of units out very quickly. Agogi. Yep, we're going to need you sooner rather than later. Urban planning, discipline. Both of those things are going to be good. You'll notice I didn't go for a scout start just because I wasn't keen ho -ho on exploring too much of the map, but it doesn't look like it matters because it looks like the world is finding me me. I think I just showed her where my city was, didn't I? Ah, uh, I always do that on autopilot. I need to get better at saying no. Say no to parties, Ursa. You don't need to invite everybody into your house. Right, truffles. That is a new settlement on a new continent, and these snuffly trophies could be immediately sold. It's a bit of a gamble, but if I do declare war on somebody, I get them back. So... Like, it would be three gold, really. Well, Dido has denounced me already, so, you know, that's a good start. And I'm just realizing it is turn 20, which means this charade has got to begin. And there is a warrior right outside my capital already. Ha, ah, that's, that's not good. Well, let's see how unlucky it is. Bring on the wheel. Never say that this channel is not high tech. <laughs> Okay, it is Ethiopia that I'm going to declare war on first. Oh no. 
And what I'm going to do is there's also like a nice little track so you can see the results as we go through, just so you know that I'm not cheating. Saying that though, that is the most terrible spelling of Ethiopia. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Menelik. Right, so basically what happens is I go and declare a surprise war. Now, on turn 30, I am allowed to go and see if I can make peace. I right? like as soon as we can, but um, yeah, this is... This is not good. Now, the good thing, the only good thing, is that I do have a lot of extra speed now, so I can get my units around. The bad news is that I think that I could get attacked at any time, because, yeah, Phoenicia's just gonna sit a warrior on here now and make sure that if I do let my guard down at any point, I'm going to regret it immediately. Oh, it looks like Ethiopia have just um, destroyed the Bob camp. Oh, that's annoying. I was like, oh, maybe I can get away with uh, stealing that myself. Alas, nope, that is not going to happen. I do have a lot of extra movement, but it's whether or not attacking this barbarian is really the play here. That's actually acting as a bit of a buffer for me, so I might just move my troops around a little bit, get to this side of the river. As I say, I, do I trust Phoenicia not to attack me? No, no I don't. Oh, that settler though can move like anything. That's awesome. Right, let's pump out some units. Come on, we need to get ourselves nice and safe now. We can get three barbarian kills. I can find the iron quickly. Oh, Peter. Oh, thank goodness. No, I don't need to. Don't visit my city. Oh, they know where we are. They know where I am already. That's not good. I need to meet as many people as I can because quite frankly, I... I need, I need the, the variation here. I, I need, I need other targets. Oh, I'm going to take some damage here, but that is a slinger kill, which is an archery boost. Wonderful. I feel a little bit more secure now that I have a warrior in my capital, but I would quite like a few extra slingers because I do not trust Dido here at all. What are you doing there, Dido? Just your warrior? Just hanging around in my city borders? Oh wait, what's that? You're not just hanging around to attack me. You actually have a message for me. You're trying to tell me that the agents of Carthage are making fun of me because of my low subscriber count. Ugh, that's so rude. How dare you? How dare you suggest that anything less than 50,000 subscribers is a terrible place to be? How? D Dido. I, I, I will not stand such blasphemy and scandal and... I'm looking for a word here. Whatever it is. Disgusting. There's my third city. Huzzah! Am I really just building archers and slingers everywhere? You better believe it. Oh, actually, I can. A little cheeky attack and there's bronze working. Even if I do take a little bit of damage here, I think that was worth it. Oh, well, that's Russia. They've uh, denounced me as well. That's a good start. <laughs> it's almost like I've caused grievances to people. I, I feel like it's harsh. I don't feel like we've done anything bad at all. I'm probably going to retreat back to Tarsus though because I need to make sure that all of my cities on the front line have a little bit of reinforcements. A couple of warriors here and there. Now that is good, but I will save some gold actually. Oh, Tamir of Georgia. Lovely to meet you. Bronze working. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, right. Already right where I put an aqueduct. That is where the iron is. So that's my plan gone, but equally, there is also some iron there as well. We have two sources of iron. Oh, honestly, given my luck in some games recently, that is actually staggering for me. I, I will take that. That is that is good. Oh, Ethiopia have settled right there. Oh, I've only got three turns to attack them. I don't think my, my army will get there in time. So maybe, maybe this is a bad move. Ah, well, let's see if I can squeeze a builder out. Right, from this point onwards, now I am saving my gold. I am saving my gold for immortals. Oh, look at that gold. I could sell my relic to Georgia. The problem, the problem here is that if I then roll and get her in a surprise war, I lose everything. Oh, suddenly I'm seeing the challenge of this game. This is, this is brilliant. Okay, right, we're gonna have to just keep an eye on this, but uh, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Right, I'm working, I'm just gonna go straight to Immortals. This is the only way we're gonna be safe here. Oh, they're attacking me. That's fine though, I have the movement. I can just sort of leap into the rainforest and attack from a distance. So this is, this is okay. And I have to say, I do like the extra build and movement look. That is a fun thing indeed. Right, craftsmanship is gonna get boosted in a second. Let's just flip over to foreign trade quickly. Two turns left. I could ask for it all up front. Oh, I'm gonna wait two more turns and then we'll get the maximum out of this deal with Georgia we can. Assuming they don't denounce me before that point. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, what you doing there, Dido? What you, what you doing there? Oh, I'm gonna have to move that warrior back. I've got my slinger here. Oh, this is gonna go so horribly wrong. 
You can just tell now. Let's get a spearman in. I need to improve the defense of my cities up so badly. Am I going to be able to make any offensive plays this game at all? Or is this game just going to be like backwards and forwards me defending myself from every single direction all at once? Oh, people are even building Stonehenge. How are they building things? This is just a game of war. Ah oh, well, it matters not. It matters not. Right. Turn 30. So, can we make peace? We can make peace. Um, I can't take anything from the peace deal. It'll just have to be straight peace. But honestly, right now, that is fine. Remember the rule? We can't go to war again with Ethiopia. Not until at least one cycle has passed. Basically, the same person can't be warred twice in a row. Oh my goodness, I just realized I can add colors to them all. Here we go. The wheel. Actually, can I even, can I just remove temporarily? Oh no, it would be, it would be too clever. Right, fine. If the same person comes up twice in a row, we'll just spin again, okay? Da 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 da! High tech things on the channel! No one ever says it's not. Georgia! Well, there we go. If we'd have traded our relic to them, that would have been bad. Yeah, I am genuinely sorry about this, but, um, what are you gonna do? Actually, we might be able to get other people involved in random wars, but no, not right now. Ethiopia might also buy the relic, actually. Russia would as well. Oh, Russia would as well, even though they hate me, and I've got a minimum of 10 turns of gold here. But thinking about it, I can't go to war with Ethiopia. No, I can go to war with Ethiopia next time, can't I? Oh, there's only ever 10 turns minimum. Ah, oh, the cleverness of this game. I don't need the relic for anything else. I really don't. So, fine. I'll sell it to you, Russia. I need the gold per turn. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to buy a lot of immortals. Well, I'm hoping because of this crazy plan, um, if nothing else, I'm never going to have a turn in this game where my units don't have full movement. So, that's cool. Um, I have no idea where Georgia is right now. I, I may have kind of not clarified this at the start of the game, but I'm not going to declare any wars that aren't dictated by the random wheel. So this this is it. This is all we've got this game. If, if it doesn't happen in a way that I like, tough. Cree! Hello! It's, it's nice to meet you. Um, did I... Oh, I just let them into my city again. Why do I do that? What is my problem? Never mind. Never mind. It's okay. Um, I, I, again, it also goes to say that I'm not actually going to make friends with anybody this game as well. Give you gold per turn just in case that deal goes horribly wrong. Yeah, I'm not going to make friends with anybody because then I can't declare a surprise war and that kind of defeats the point of the video. Oh, they attacked me. They attacked me. And um, it, again, it goes to say that I can't roll them on the wheel if I'm already at war with them. So, you know, that's fun. Ah, oh, yay. Okay, right, let's just get this. That'll give me craftsmanship and masonry boosts. We are getting there nicely. I want craftsmanship done as quickly as I can. Come on, Ethiopia. You want to get involved in this war? No, they don't. Come on. Someone's got to go and get involved in this war. Nope, nobody wants any wars. Far too peaceful. The game is being boring. Terrible. Never mind. It's actually, again, quite handy that I have such high movement on my units because I can skip across rivers really easily and I can just move units around, cycle them around a little bit, make sure that we can do attacks and not leave ourselves in vulnerable positions like this already. I'm just letting them attack me. Uh, my slingers can obviously do lots of damage without uh, moving or leaving my cities at all, which is really good. I have quite a lot of army. I've got more slingers. I have a spearman on the way. Spearmen aren't inherently very good, but they make my cities a lot harder to kill. So that's wonderful. I wonder where Dido is. This is pretty much her entire force right now. Craftsmanship boosted. Nice. A gogi. Yeah, even better. There we go. Now we can really start to pump some units out. Let's give everyone the promotions, get another kill there, lovely stuff, this is all good, this is all good, Spearman, ready next turn, get the slingers out again, I like having a huge slinger army because this means we can immediately go and get about 7 million archers when we need to. Looks like that trade route is going this way, I reckon Dido is in this direction, if I had to guess, I would say that is pretty probably the most likely outcome here. Oh, Granada wants a trade route as well. Remember that, because we have a bit of uh, gold. I could get a trader in a second. Unfortunately, it looks like we'd get pillaged very quickly, but um, what could you do about that, really? Everything will get pillaged at some point. It's just an inevitability. Look at that, 15 garrison strength. The addition of a single spearman is enough to make my cities a lot tougher. That is looking good. And, oh, a spearman kill this early into the game. Goodness me, what a game. We are optimizing like crazy this game. Game. But that's it. That is the entire army disintegrated. So I will get some more spearmen and I think I'm going to go on the assault. I have five turns to go and find Dido. This is... <laughs> this is unlikely. Oh, how am I going to do this? I only have 10 turns per war. 
That's so little time. There's a city though. There is a city. Um, do I just charge knowing that slingers are really cheap? Oh, I don't really want to just start sacrificing units, but that's not a bad little move. Yeah, you know what? We're going to have to actually just start being really brazen here. There is a settler. Where is the settler going to go? Are you going to go and settle over there? That might be quite nice for me. I'd quite like it if you did that. I think archers are going to be really important here as well. Oh, there's Tamir. Oh, don't be sending that unit over to me. That's not a nice thing to do. I disapprove royally. Yeah, I'm not going to have the time. Although, actually, I've got a bit longer on this one because they declared war on me at a weird time, didn't they? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm only going to make peace on the turn 40, turn 50, turn 60. So I might be at war a little bit beyond um, this one, but it just helps keep everything in regular format. I only honestly think that it'll be beginning of the game that the AI even declares war on me because it tends to fall away a little bit later on. Let's get two warriors going. I think I'm going to have plenty of iron. That'll be... Actually, no, I'm going to make the slinger in this city, but then I can start building an immortal in this city because that'll finish just one turn before it finishes and hopefully we'll just flip it over and get that building. And actually, my capital is going to do the same thing next turn. Oh, that's a bad place to stand. One, two, three. Oh, not quite on the kill there. Uh, never mind. That's probably is that warrior dead because Granada is just in the wrong place right now and that is blocking me and that is frustrating but never mind. Give me early empire. Early empire is all I can do. Fine I'm just gonna fortify. If they're gonna kill this unit it's got battle cry. They're gonna actually pay. Oh there we go. Look at that. I actually managed to resist it. Fair play. Oh, another kill. Oh, not quite. Not quite, but it's fine. We are pushing them back. Look at this pathetic little army. It's it's amazing. It's brilliant. It's terrible at the same time. It's everything at one. Everything all at once. Come on, get that scout out of here. You don't need any of the knowledge of what's going on in this direction. Iron working. Wonderful. As predicted, there we go. Immortal. Immortal. Both of these cities will finish that in due course. We offer peace to everybody that will accept it. Dido, we can't because she declared war on me and it's a little bit soon. There we go. Cree, Russia, Georgia, Ethiopia or Phoenicia. Georgia is a no-go. Phoenicia is a no-go. Let's see who comes up now. Da -da 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 -da. Oh no. Yeah, that's Cree. Okay. Look, I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry. I really didn't want this. We could have found another way. What, you don't think my war tactic of using a random spinny wheel is a good idea? Come on. Get your... So old-fashioned. Right, let's get archery as quickly as we can. Out of my husbandry. Archery. I need archers. Archers, archers, archers. All of this would be useful, but saying that, actually. I can get another kill. Bam. Oh, you gotta love it. Mmm, I like the smell of kills in the morning. That's what I say to that. This warrior will retreat back to safety, as with this one. And there is the immortal upgrade. And there is the golden age. Of course it's a golden age. Would it have been anything other than gold if this was an Ursa start? This is, th the chaos aside, <laughs> this is turning into a weirdly effective start. I, I am slightly worried by this. I'm just thinking, do I just embrace it and go and kill Granada? Or do I want to try and keep friends with Granada? I don't... No, they're really good. I think military city-states are probably going to be a really handy thing to keep, actually. It's just that these warriors are lipping everywhere. Maybe I can levy them? Actually, I could levy them. That would probably be the answer to that one, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, we, we figured it out. I, I'm going to levy them. This immortal is so weak. Um, I'm going to let it heal just a little bit. I was thinking about going to use its ranged attack and then get uh, some health from killing things, but I don't want to take that risk, really. That would be a messy, messy thing. So Russia have a religion. That's Feed the World. And Cree have a religion with choral music. I will, I will take Feed the World. Give that to me. Yum, yum. You know how I feel about Feed the World. It is a good thing for me. My slingers are all ready for the siege of this city, which is already so tough. It's ridiculous. I can't even see you actually that's but that's the annoying thing don't have a boat i need a boat why don't i have a boat give me give me a boat please i want to be a boaty bear make peace i will make peace with you but only on turn 50 those are the rules i only need it my, my military advisor sleeps on any turn that isn't a, a pure divisible into um 10 like it just just does I, I don't know why don't ask me it's it's a it's a it's a weird thing cheeky little 36 science pillage that gives me archery which is nice uh i could upgrade these slingers quickly but i'm actually not 
going to. I'm going to upgrade the ones up here first because these are more important to me. But one, two attacks. Again, we're just leveling everything up nicely. My mortal can fire with ranged attack, which is rubbish, but it's okay. Now we can spearman attack and oh, we can get this city down before turn 50. That would be a gain. I would actually call that a gain. What do I do now? Oh, it's worth it. Battering Rams? Battering Rams is probably worth it, actually. Let's go and get Battering Rams quickly. i probably going to need one of those as soon as walls spring up. Oh, look! That's 35 strength now. Yay! Oh, man, I'm so happy to see that boat. What a wonderful thing to find. One, two, in you get. Come on, Immortal. I need you to the front line because there's more units need to attack. Oh, it's so strong now. It's so strong. Fine. Um, battle Let's see if that ship leaves. It might end up leaving on its own regard. It probably won't, to be fair. Um, but... You know, you can be hopeful for these things without real any expectation of it actually happening. Here we go, the archer flourish for me. Beautiful. When does my deal run out? 15 turns from now. Oh, I'm going to be bankrupt when that happens. Oh, I'm going to have to pillage everything. I can just see it coming now. One kill. Two kills. There's a settler there. Yay. That's actually really good. That's actually really, really genuinely very good. Okay, immortals. We now have the city surrounded with a lot of immortal strikes. But the problem is, is the immortal strike is 17 uh, combat strength less effective against cities. It's really naff. So, yeah, we might have to just cycle units in and out of this a little bit. Let's go just steal that settler quickly. I can get that settler up and running. There's a beautiful tobacco settle there. It puts me in range of another tobacco and a cotton. That means I can start selling to people. And I like the idea of selling to people. Let me tell you that right now for free. Oh, 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 oh. That's an art jump. And that just hit my slinger pretty much to zero health. Dislike. Dislike that entirely. Fine. Fine, you want me to kill the city quickly, do you? You're forcing my hand? Ugh. Whatever. It's okay. I wanted to kill them anyway. It was my idea the whole time. Um, in fact, actually, what I'm going to do is this immortal will fire over the top. I can't afford to wait around. We're just going to chonk in like this. And, uh, oh, that spearman cannot afford to do that. I'll just hold the line. I'm going to give that archer something to shoot at by leaving my slingers there. Hopefully that will be good target practice for them and then I can get my units out in a second. Oh, Russia's getting a great general, but I need these encampments. I need this done rather quickly because I need to get encampments in every city now. I think this is a priority. I need the gold, I need the great general points, I need everything that comes from them. The additional production towards building units as well. Yeah, there we go, look, the gamble worked out. They went for the slinger. Your civilization is the model on which I will build the new Russia. Oh, Peter. I know Russia is chaotic, but you really want to think twice about making that statement. Right, Golden Age. I could go for my own religion. Honestly, I can't be bothered. Oh, monumentality would have been really, really handy had I kept my relic, but nope. Instead, I'm going to go for free inquiry, just because I probably will build commercial hubs and the extra science is actually really handy. So let's take that for now and get pottery. One attack, two attacks, three attacks. Come on, four attacks, do it. Yes! Ha ha ha! I have taken a city with two turns remaining. Am I going to realistically be able to hold on to the city? Probably not. Am I going to have to buy Victor with my first card? Which is really annoying. Yes, probably. Oh, it's even loyal. Oh, because I get the loyalty for having a unit in. I did that too quickly. Never mind. Let's get that. Oh, monument. Yes, I don't have any culture. That's actually really handy. Oh, my empire is so tragic. Granada. That would give me another trade route there. I need that, um, that envoy. Uh, is that mine now? I don't think it is, is it? No. I need to send them one envoy. What does Preslav want? Entertainment complex. Preslav, I mean this in the best possible way, but no. I'm going to start moving some of my army into other directions because, I mean, I've got Russia just above me. If I have to declare war on Russia and Samarkand immediately, that's going to go nasty for me because I have nothing in this direction to keep me safe. I also have no gold right now. Oh, I don't want to get rid of my honey for such a cheap amount, but I might have to because um, I really, really want to put some encampments down and I don't have any tiles to build these on. So, OK, I'm just putting it in the middle of this plains because it's a bit rubbish and I need to keep myself safe. OK, fine. One more immortal than my capital will do that. Yeah, I'm pulling some units back. Feels weird. Feels very weird to do. But I don't know who the chaos wheel is going to roll for me next. And I've only got two turns until the next roll. So 
Yeah, this could get messy. Oh, I've managed to push them quite close. I know where their capital is now. Interesting. Very interesting. So if we do go to war with Dido again, I feel like I've got more of an opportunity here to really attack them. However, are we going to run out of time now because the wheel is about to come back out? Here we go. Turn 50. Right. Make peace where we can. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to start giving up things to the AI if I want peace. Which is a bit annoying, but luckily the iron is fairly cheap to do. Okay, perfect. Peace in this. We roll the wheel again, but this time Cree and Phoenicia can't come up. Let's go, let's spin the wheel. Spinning the wheel. La 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 la. Nope, that's Phoenicia. What did we say? We can't do two at the same time. It's not going to... No, no, spin the wheel again. If we don't like the result, we're gonna spin the wheel again. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not typing it out again. I could I could remove it as an option and then type it out again, but I'm not going to. Um, Georgia. There we go. It's Georgia time. There we go. These are the options I'm getting, being given, by the way. So there we go. Georgia it is. They're just sitting here going like, what have I done wrong? What is going on? And we're like, just don't, don't even worry about it. It's fine. Most important thing is where Georgia actually is. It looks like they're down there. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. Oh, for goodness sake. Preslav, move your, your, your stuff. This is not, not on. But this is a classic example though of the problem we're going to have where our army is kind of the wrong side of the map right now and we're going to have to sort of move it. Here is the tobacco! Pasa! Beautiful, beautiful city for me. Great. You want to buy this stuff? Nobody wants to buy any of my stuff and it is highly frustrating. Georgia does have 383 military strength. That, oh, yeah, is a, is a frighteningly large amount and I'm not, not keen on it, I'll be honest. And even moving my army across to them is going to be quite difficult here. Let's get currency. I'm going to need money. I'm going to need trade routes. I'm going to need money. I've got more units coming. My empire just now follows Russia's religion, which is a thing. That's fine. How much population have they got? 15 pop. I'm on 13, which actually makes me fourth. Russia's got more. Pound maker's got more. Okay, fine. So it's not too good. But here we go. The immortal is now on the front line. Ah, oh, it's a two population city. Considering Ethiopia is just there and everyone is in a golden age, there is no way I'm going to be able to hold that city, which is a bit annoying. How's the loyalty of this one doing for now? Are you any better than you were? Nope. Don't forget, I only get the plus five loyalty in occupied cities, but because we pieced out, and no longer have an occupation over that city, so that's not good. Luckily my movement is so quick I can kind of use the terrain to my advantage here and see if we can keep attacking units. I'm just aware, so aware that my deal with Russia is about to expire and I have no gold at all. Ugh, I don't really want to be wading slingers into battle, but equally, I don't have the money to upgrade them right now. I need builders. I think I need builders. There's, there's, there's coca, there is tobacco, there's cotton. There's a lot of stuff that I could improve and then trade. I just need to actually get myself into the position. Oh, horsemen. Okay, this is where having spearmen is good. Ooh, 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 they're still very tough though. All right, that's um, it's a little bit frightening. Never mind. That's three turns uh, taken already and really nothing has happened apart from the fact that my spearman has almost died already. However, I've got archers ready to rock. Ah, oh, those are walls. Those are walls. That's not what I wanted to see. Ah, oh, fine. To find their other cities. Let's have a let's have a peek. If I can get a really high population city, I might be able to take a population center. But yeah, it's it's just the sheer amount of distance here between cities. My ten turns is not going to be enough. I'm going to have to focus on getting a lot more traders here to get internal routes because don't forget my roads are one level above normal. That's really good. That means if I can get more traders going, we can, in theory, move my troops across my empire a little better. I can also start to trade some iron away now. It's, it's a little bit annoying, this. If I can get raw gold, then I know it's not going to go away at any point, which is good. I'm going to keep an eye out for people with luxuries as well, even if there's somebody with copies of stuff. Like, for instance, that is honey. I already have access to it, but if they're going to give it to me... No, they won't. Uh, that's, that's unfortunate, but I was just thinking, sometimes if you buy a duplicate from the AI, you can then sell your copy for, you know, tons of gold. Potty! Uh, nope, that's also too population. That's a bit annoying. Okay, fine. We're not going to have any luck over in this direction, I don't think. I'm going to suggest that this war against Georgia is not good. However, Ethiopia, Russia... 
died out. All those three options are better. So I'm going to pull my units back and we're just going to gamble on having a slightly better attack here. Oh, Soda is actually losing its loyalty already. That's really handy. Got my army split into sort of little chunks here. We are finally getting encampments set up. We've got barracks being set up as well. There's another governor, which I'm probably going to need. Uh, Amani, I'm going to stick into Preslav because this gives me a lot of loyalty, but it's also really good. I think levy military 410. Yeah, I think that's better than Granada, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so we'll save up some gold. There's a lot of stuff I want to do right now. I'm trying not to split my attention over too many things at once. I'm, I'm failing utterly. Oligarchy, that would give me four combat strength with all of my spearmen and immortals. So that's really good as well. There's Axum. Okay, if we do go to war with Ethiopia, we do have targets. They're not easy targets, but they are targets. So to keep that in mind, Ethiopia wants iron. Yeah, I bet they flip and do. Not happening, sir. Not happening. Oh man, I would like to be building more units though. I'm, ugh, these encampments, is it worth it? Is it worth getting a general? I think it is worth getting a general, but my lord, this is going to make me really second guess that. If we can kill units though, we will. Always works nicely, but yeah, George is not, it's really not going to work well for me here. Oh, Ethiopia are now giving me proper gold for a luxury. Yes, I'm going to start doing that. If I can get really good, oh, Russia's doing it as well. I can get good gold out of them. I don't mind having my cities a little bit unhappy. That gold is amazing. It's, it's buying barracks in, it's upgrading governments. I could get monuments to try and rush political philosophy. A monument would actually give me about a third extra culture right now. It's a, it would be a depressingly large amount. But I think for now, I'm going to get one builder over there. That'll go for the wheat to get irrigation and then the cotton. Uh, and there'll be a builder over in Tarsus as well to get the coca. Uh, and then he'll head down to get the tobacco and the cotton. I think, yeah, well, I think that's worth it. Using gold to generate gold. Oh, what's just exploded? Do you think you can frighten me? No. Merely passing by. Merely passing by, friend. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. It's all good. Oh, man, if that city flips. That'll be really handy. Also, that campus is plus three. That's that's really solid. I'll take that. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay, right. Quickly, irrigation boosted. This is a total gamble, by the way. It is a total gamble. There is nothing certain about either going to war with Dido or Ethiopia right now. So, you know, whatever, whatever happens, it'll, it'll be worth it. I'm still I'm getting some lovely experience for these immortals just by shooting this warrior over a river. It's really just standing there and, and taking it, which is great. Uh, there is a luxury. There is a luxury. Uh, anything else people want to buy? Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, right. That's good. I don't mind buying things for gold per turn. Because if I do go to war with Russia, then I will immediately get that back. And look, I can, oh, I can already trade it with Russia for the same gold per turn. So that's good. What would be a good upgrade? Uh, immortals into mana arms. It's not... I mean, you should really be using Immortals for as long as you can, but, I mean, Mana Arms are better, so maybe that's what I should be doing. Horseback Riding? Apprenticeship? Uh, archers? Into Crossbows? Crossbows are quite good. Let's go Wheel. Yeah, let's do that. So this will be turn 60. It's turn 60, and as Preslav joins my army, which is a very wise choice, peace for Georgia. Great. And you know what time it is. I mean, that is very, very lucky there. <laughs> I would have taken that or Phoenicia, but that is awesome. Here we go. It comes up. It's, it's, it's literally, literally there. We currently have a couple of luxuries being traded, but that is absolutely fine. We declare the war. 200 military strength. I do have 400 here. So I've got the army to wreak havoc, but we just need to get in there nice and quick. Now, Russia is absolutely going crazy on the great generals. Like, that is nonsense how much they're going for. I was just basically cultural. I haven't even built a single theatre square. We're going for ang oh, war, Russia. Yeah, orcs. Just going to buy barracks quickly. And now my capital could, in theory, oh, I could get myself some more immortals, which I really want to do. I could get commercial hub for another trader. Oh, do I want the earlier gamer? The army is going to be useful, but I think I'm going to just, yeah, let's go for one turn of the mortal. I'm going to get rid of this cattle, get a bit more food, and then I'll put the commercial hub to get a plus three, build a commercial hub over there. I, I feel like the economy, I'm not going to regret going for that, probably. I say probably. I have no evidence to say that I'm not going to regret this massively, but what, what can you do? Soda is for population. I think this makes sense to be the city that I attack first. 
but we'll we'll work it out and see if this this works out. There is an archer over there actually. Just watch out for that. Oh, and look without road. Yeah, okay, the commercial hub is needed. Look at that. Without roads, it would take almost ten turns to get over with the immortal. I don't think that's actually got the movement correct though. That hasn't got the plus four in it, has it? So okay, we'll 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 hazard a, a chance that these two immortals can get to the front line before that. But we'll we'll watch that one. Oh, actually, we can just go around the back and have a look and see what's going on. Yeah, it looks like there is an archer there. We'll go and just use this immortal to distract whilst my army takes Sodo. How many cities have they got? Five cities with thirteen pop. Interesting. Yes, I know. I know. I know. We've only got 10 turns, though. I don't have time to sit around and listen to your denunciations. Why did you move your archer there? Of all the places to go, that feels like a terrible idea. Especially because I've got literal, like, unit killing archers. Actually, that was that was an incendiary's archer. That probably was not a good move there. Never mind. This one's a killer. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. I think rushing this out is going to be really, really good. Oh, there's a luxury there, which is cool. Yeah, let's just get our immortals to attack. Look at that. Perfect. We'll take that next turn. Beautiful. Also, remember with your full movement, jump onto a hill. Shoot. It can't attack back because I'm on a hill. Ha ha ha. Okay, there is the cattle removed, so we're going to pop the commercial hub down on the plus three, finish the immortal first. There's never an excuse to not have enough troops in a game like this. You need the capacity to wage war on multiple fronts, not at the same time, just consecutively, annoyingly, one and then the other. Ugh. Era score may be a problem this age. This is just something to keep an eye on. There's Singy, by the way, though. That's, um, that is cool. Let's just get a couple of archer attacks and take the city with the spearmen. There we go. Sodo and Mahanjadaira has been found. A beautiful. That city is loyal as long as it has a city, uh, a unit in it. So that's good. Axum will take this city as soon as we can as well. We have eight turns left. I think these gambles make sense. Buy the towel, get the tobacco, see if anyone wants to buy it. Mm, I could sell it in theory. I might start just hanging on to some of this though, because as much as the gold is good, I would like to keep happy cities. It helps with loyalty a lot. Look at this, the warriors, they keep charging in, but they can't catch my units. It's so satisfying. Also political philosophy, it's not even a choice, oligarchy, I need the plus four combat strength, it's beautiful, a gogi, good, conscription, oh my lord, that helps with gold, urban planning, and charismatic leader, I already know the city states I want to be friends with, I want to be friends with Granada and Preslav, the others don't matter to me, I probably will end up killing them at some point, if, if, I'm, if I'm feeling really naughty. To spend a turn cleaning up on some of these units, I don't want to have to continue fighting all of them at once. Uh, in fact, actually, seeing that, I could just move back to that tile, get this archer to kill that one, and then, oh yeah, I can get that uh, warrior killed as well, and Axum will be sieged when I move this immortal to that tile? No? Oh, hang on, it's because this is an archer, isn't it? Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense, fine. Of course, I get one more trade route with political philosophy, don't I? Ah, uh, that's handy. Okay, yes, um, oh, barracks are good. Barracks are really good. I need the commercial hub, but I need more troops. Let's go for another immortal first, then I'll build another commercial hub. I'm kind of just trying to alternate economy and military. I don't think there's a perfect ratio to it. Oh, uh, I need this card though, Strategos. Let's get this because I need one of the great generals. How many have gone already? Only the one. I think there are four or five great generals. Four uh, in the classical era. So we've got time to pick up one. I managed to get Russia in on my war. I keep forgetting about this. I just, again, sow the seeds of chaos. I know that my wars are randomized, but if I can just keep getting the AI to join in on random wars, then, well, it stretches them. It means that they can't be attacking all different directions or defending in all different directions at the same time. They have to let their guard down in one way or another. It'll be wonderful. There we go. City sieged. One, two, three, four, and I could use my ranged attacks. So I think I will. One, two and then we'll do this one and then melee attack uh oh i knew it would be just not enough because it's across a river never mind next turn what a fool what a fool you see ranged attacks you think they're good and then you use them and then they're not good uh is that a luxury yes that is a bonus luxury i'll send that to russia for some gold we've managed to get ethiopia's army from 200 to 82 in the space of five turns 
Oh man. Oh no, that's a that's a bad fire. Oh, that's rainforest. We have rainforest surrounding all of that. Tarsus is probably going to burn really hard now. Oh, I'll get my units out of the rainforest just in case. But yeah, that's a that's a tough one. Never mind. There's Axum taken and loyal because of the unit in the city. Oh, I really want bad units to be waiting in. I mean, Sodo kind of a little bit of a trash city, but for now it's okay. There's an archer in. The, oh, okay, right. This is is more defended but I'll take it on anyway doesn't matter I'm just gonna sit across the river battle cry go on then warrior attack me if you dare I'm sending in my archers otherwise strategos get those general points in I need to compete with Russia that means I'm getting seven per turn I think I should get the third great general if I'm lucky fingers crossed military training yeah let's go games and recreation and then we'll start to get things like veterancy raid there's some good cards there what are they going to do? Oh, they're going to shoot my archer. Yeah. You know what? Actually, that works for me. That works really nicely because I can now cycle that archer and the immortal in and out there. That's really cool. Oh, my hundred dara. You're going to take me on, are you? Brave. I think I can take this city. One, two, and then three. Go on. Yeah. There you go. Keep the city. Oh, that's a bad rebellion. That's a really bad rebellion. How many cities have you got left? Two. I need the capital. I need the capital fast. Luckily, I... Oh, no, there's a mountain range. I built a, an immortal in my capital and it's scuttling around this. I have four turns. Can I claim the capital? And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Gratis, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Devil X, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amiri C, Henry, Romidiade, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Debel Time. Thank you all for your support, it's amazing. See you all next time. Goodbye!